Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be talking all about the very, very, one more, very ancient crystal called candle quartz. Also referred to as pineapple quartz. I never call it pineapple quartz. Always call it um, candle quartz. And you can see why. It looks like wax literally dripping down a candle. Very easy to spot candle quartz. And for that reason alone, looks like a dripping wax candle. It's very, very old. It's a very ancient crystal. And it is very high vibrational. I think, I mean, some people, you could look at these. I think all crystals are beautiful. But some people... Can refer to this as not the most beautiful looking but these come in as you can see all different types of shapes and sizes but they all look like a little dripping wax candle and that's how they get their name so these guys very high vibrational they're to the touch, you could almost feel, well, not almost, you can feel that old world energy that just spews from them. And I have a lot to talk about with these guys because these have been around for so long and have been through everything, all the cataclysms and the, the high intense energy of the earth throughout the ages. and just all that energy is packed into these crystals and they are absolutely wonderful to work with they're super high vibrational so the best part about these you're going to touch these you're going to meditate with them we'll get in that that in a little bit but they're going to flood you with life force energy because of how high vibrational these are and universal energy you don't even have to do much to connect with these once you get into a meditative state with these like i said they're going to absolutely flood you with the, uh, life force energy because of how high vibrational these are they're just a crystal of pure white light and they harness vibrations capable of opening and expanding your mind easily they're excellent and easy to work with and very strong um one thing you could easily do with these is work with past life uh doing past life recalls so when you do work with a crystal especially a quartz crystal the very first thing you're going to want to do is cleanse it especially quartz so it can hold if somebody was previously working with it and they programmed it to do something specific, you want to get rid of that programming. You want to release the energies. Definitely wash this, rinse it with water, and cleanse it. It's going to get all that stuck energy off of the previous use. Um, definitely, that's a must. And then you're going to want to program it. I, I will make a video on programming crystals as well, but simply your intentions are going to program it. So form a bond with the crystal, hold it in your hand and kind of tell it. You don't have to say it out loud. Just tell it in your mind what you're looking for. And that's important because it's going to use the intentions of your mind and help you to achieve what you're looking for during that session so what i would do if you're looking to work with past life recall you're going to want to program it and at least get it prepared so you the crystal knows what you want from it um, that's important because it's going to help you as you're in that meditative state it's going to give you those flashes of past life recalls and this is a good one for that, but not the best for past life recall, but it's, it's very good. 
But when we're working with this crystal, it is, you have to remember, pure light. It has very high vibrations and it's capable of connecting you with the entire universe. Everything. All at once at the same time. And this is great when you're connecting to the universe. And it really makes and enforces that we're never truly alone. Um, it, it's going to connect you and, and remind us the very important thing, which is we're not just physical beings that are born into this reality and then live and die and it's over. We're spiritual beings, people. Spiritual beings that decided to come here. Yes, decided to come here as part of this experience. So it's going to help. Look at the size of this one, by the way. It's going to help really refresh and, and implement that, that you are not alone. You're, everything is connected. And you're here having this spiritual experience in this physical reality because you chose to be here and experience it. And that's very important because it's going to re really move beyond the everyday humdrum of daily tasks where, uh, you know, your work and this and school. And this is going to put it into perspective once you connect to that life, I mean, the entire universe, that, hey, you're way more, you're way, 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 way more than just, you know, this physical being that gets stuck in these routines of, I got to go get some, you know, milk at the store and I, I'm stressed out. I got to do this. I got to do that. And always fast pace. And, uh, you know, it's going to put it into perspective. It's going to connect you to the universe and remind you, which is, I think, very important. It's going to also connect us with our guardians, our spirit guides, your soul family. And I could get into all this stuff deeper in other videos, but it's going to connect you with the beings that you might not remember now, but you have been around your entire existence. And when you come here, you lose, you go through that veil of forgetfulness and you lose remembering these things. That's part of the experience. But this will connect you to those beings. And I think that's very helpful when you're connecting to your guides. This one has a little tag because I am selling it. But look at how beautiful that is. I mean, some people might not think these are the most beautiful, but... I do. There's so many crazy patterns and shapes and, and different sizes. Uh, I, I used to have one of these that had a crazy point on the end. I, I think I still have it somewhere, probably in the basement, but it was awesome. And I do work with candle quartz a decent amount. Another thing, pair this with selenite. You have two juggernauts that are going to that are gonna connect you with the universe in all its purest forms, all the good stuff flowing in. So now let's get into what we could do with it. So being here on your physical experience, I'm sure you've all heard at some point or another or watched videos on um, the earth and entering the fifth dimension and uh, all this crazy stuff where they make it sound. Well, some people that are here, I'm sure you've also heard the word light worker, uh, spirit worker, luminaries. Uh, some people have come here to help with assisting in creating that higher vibrational state. Because what's happening, whether you believe it or not, the earth is slowly shifting into a higher vibrational state and it's going to take a long time it's going to take quite a while but eventually as you hear the whole you know peace on earth and um, heaven on earth that kind of stuff eventually we're going to get into a stage where the entire earth we don't have to really do anything but we're going to help 
because we're part of the earth while we're here to shift into that new reality. And eventually it's coming, but the earth is going to do the majority of the work. But as light workers, some people come here and can help with that higher vibrational to help the earth in that process. And light workers, some of us are here to assist with that process. And guess what? Candle quartz, there's no better crystal to work with that can help us really to do that. And a lot of times when we're communicating with the universe, it uses light codes and different codes where in our regular physical reality, we have no idea. Like similar to like getting interpretations from a dream and codes. It's not going to just tell you. It's not your, your spiritual guardian or guides. They're not going to just say, Hey, Bobby, this is what you got to do. It's not that easy. It's, it's, it's masked through the way the universe speaks and these light codes can help to be deciphered through using candle quartz. And that's another important one because it almost helps you understand what the universe is trying to tell you as opposed to getting a whole bunch of information and not being able to decipher it. Similar to a dream you get and you're like, what in the heck did that mean? Well, that's the way the universe connects and spirit guides can connect you. And programming one of these guys first to tell it what you're expecting from it is important because then it will help you to translate what your spirit guides are trying to tell you, what the universe is trying to tell you. But this is a very high vibrational crystal awesome to work with it's kind of in a way a weapon really on its own it's like a weapon of light it's a stone for light workers and luminaries on this planet and pair this with selenite you got yourself one heck of a spiritual weapon definitely recommend it highly recommend it and also make sure you cleanse before you use every single time whether it's smoke sage water whatever the case you you, you want to release that programming each time you use it or it will be confused so that's pretty much everything about this i would highly highly recommend picking up some candle quartz and the other great thing candle quartz is not very expensive And probably because of the way it looks, people kind of pass on it more than a regular quartz point or something that looks more fancy. But don't sell yourself short. Definitely work with candle quartz. You will not be disappointed. It's 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 fantastic. So sum it up. Super high vibrational crystal right here. And will definitely help you interpret whatever you need to do or know through your guides or the universe. So that's it. I do have some of these for sale too in my shop. Um, I can't remember prices, but I think they're pretty good. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time for the next video.